Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Canadian Duke here, back with another NHL 14 commentary, guys. And today, we're touching on something a little bit more serious than usual, but something that's close to my heart, and uh, something that's, I guess, I think I just said it was pretty serious, but in a way, we're going to make this fun. And you guys are going to learn a little bit something about myself that uh, probably you guys didn't know. Um, so today's topic we're going to talk about is concussions in hockey. And now you guys should be like, alright, I'm not going to listen to this, this is boring, this is that more of that, oh, concussion hockey shit. But if you give me some time and let me talk, you'll learn a thing or two um, about myself and about it, and about my thoughts on it. So, sit back, buckle up your seatbelts, and enjoy the ride. <laughs> so, um, where do I start? I've had four concussions in my entire hockey career. And when I say hockey career, I mean till I was 18 years old playing rep in my small little town I live in. So, I started playing hockey when I guess was like Major Adam, which I don't know, it probably would have been like when I was in grade 7, I want to say. So, I started grade 7, um, played all the way through, good through Pee Wee, good through Adam, but once I hit Bantam, which was like beginning of high school, I got my first concussion, and it was a doozy. Um, I was just skating along the ice, had the puck coming down, and I was kind of trying to carry the puck around the net and push off the defender. And the defender, I was small at that time. And some kids were very big. And he pushed me, and I was in the danger zone from the boards. If you don't know what that is, it's like two to three feet away from the boards. And he pushed me up high, and I went head first in the boards, snacked my neck back, and I was right out. That was a doozy. I woke up, laying on the ice, trainer, and some players were standing around me. They're like, you all right? What's going on? I'm like, what, where, who, what, when, why? I was just straight out of it. Uh, they took me to the hospital after the game. They're like, yeah, you got a concussion. You're going to be out for a little bit. So it was my first concussion. So I just kind of sat through it. Um, I was just sat out as long as I needed until I was feeling better. And it was a scary thing because I was confused. I didn't know what happened. Um, my was, head was just pounding. I was waking up in the middle of the night and I just, I couldn't, everything was hurting. Um, it, it's this very scary thing, concussion. So I was like, but I want to play hockey. So I was like, you know what, let's get back at her. I'll be fine. I'll go again. So I made it through the rest of that year being good. I want to say second game of the second year in Bantam, which would be my final year at Bantam. This was playing rep because I started playing rep in Bantam. Uh, I I think, oh, sorry, last, the first concussion I want to say I missed like five or six games. Second concussion was like one of those little fluke things. A guy just gave me a quick little hit to the head. Didn't even knock me off my feet, but it dazed me enough. And I went off the ice. And I sat there and I'm like, you know what? I know what a concussion feels like, and this is another one. So, <laughs> there goes that. I missed a couple games, um, and I came back probably too soon because it was playoff time. No, wait, no, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm confusing myself. I missed one or two games because it was at the beginning of the year, the second one. So, I missed one or two games. I'm like, you know what? Whatever. It's fine. I'll, I played through it, and it ended up going away. So, I was fine. All's good. All's well. Good to go. See, this is where... Everyone's got to learn. You're young, you love playing hockey, but don't rush concussions. Concussions aren't something to joke about, and now that I'm older looking back on it, I know that. I wish I hadn't have played through my concussion, <laughs> at least that one. Um, so anyways, year goes on, I'm good, all fine. First year of midget, I'm good. Second year of midget, we have troubles. I don't even remember how that one exactly happened. <laughs> it was just a, a, I had my head down, got rocked. Uh, I didn't knock me out, but I missed, uh, that would have been the entire year. Or sorry, half a year. I missed half a year. And that one was I what I thought at the time bad. That one was bad. That was probably one of my worst. I missed so much school that year. I had to do summer school because of how much I missed there. And it was just painful. Waking up, laying in bed. There'd be time I couldn't drive at that point. Like, I was trying to do, like, my G1 or whatever it had been at that time. And I couldn't drive because I would get nauseous and dizzy from standing up or driving. Like, I, there'd be times I'd just stay in bed all day. Because if, when I was getting up in bed, I'd puke because of how nauseous I'd get. And that was just how bad it was. And finally, when it was over, everyone kind of sat me down and like, you know what, Duke? We think you should stay away from hockey. And, of course, me being me, I'm like, you know what? I'm a Canadian kid. I love hockey. I play rep. My team's good. I love my friends. I love my guys I play with. So let's play through it. Let's let's just wait for this concussion to go away, and I'll play hockey again. 
so there it is. So I play hockey. <laughs> so I kept playing hockey. A final year of midget. Team is doing a fantastic. We're in the playoffs. I'm doing great. I am just lighting it up. It's my final year. I want to end with a championship. I'm like, you know what? It's my last year of hockey. I'm not going to go play Junior B or Junior C or any of that shit. I'm not that good. <laughs> and there's no really good local teams around. I just want to enjoy my last year, score a shitload of goals, which I was, and and just have fun. All right? I wanted to end well. So we're in the semifinals. Game, it was best of five, so it's game five. And we're down one nothing. I'm out there on the ice. The puck's coming around the boards as we're in the defensive zone. I go to pick it up behind me, and I turn around, and this guy absolutely obliterates me. And when I say obliterates me, I wish I still had a photo of it, but the cage of my mask was indented in. I went flying, and I was out cold. I woke up with paramedics around me. That's how bad it was at that time, guys. And so I went to the hospital. My team ended up winning it because the guy got a penalty on the play for a head check or whatever it was. Um, I We went to the finals, and I sat out one game, which was the worst thing I could have ever done. I played through my concussions in the finals in a game five, game five game series. We lost in game five, uh... And we didn't win the championship. And I want to play. I played through it because of my head. And I would literally go out there, play a shift, come sit on the ice, and just want to vomit my guts out because of how bad I was feeling from the concussion. Head would be spinning. I'd go home. I would literally just sit in the black room. I'd, I'd miss school, but I'd still play hockey because I all I can think of was winning and playing hockey and not about my own health. And nowadays, it comes back to bite me. How? Let's Let me explain. I have memory loss. I have speech impediment at times. Sometimes I won't be able to get a word out. It's hard to explain until you actually hear it. Where I'll be in the middle of a sentence, I'll just stop because I can't get a word out. I'm saying it in my head, but my mouth just says no. My brain says no, your mouth can't say that. I have, yeah, terrible memory loss. Uh, mostly short term, long term stuff, I'm pretty good. Short term, it's just, it's wrong. <laughs> I can't remember a question I asked you five seconds ago. I. I have migraines, severe migraines that I'm on medication for. And the worst thing of all is the depression. It, the way I've had it explained to me is your head says one thing, or sorry, the chemicals in your head are created at a balance when you don't have brain injuries. But when you have the brain injury, it knocks out a balance. So you make more of one thing or the other. And the more of the one thing and less of the other is what makes me depressed. So that's one of those things I have to deal with with day to day life. I'm on medication for that, for depression. That's something I want to share with you guys because I love you guys. Um, it's not something like, oh, Duke, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that, Duke. Feel bad for me. It's not what that is. I'm saying this to share stuff with you guys, to show you guys that if you have a concussion, it's not something to take lightly. Now, it's one of the things I'm so good at talking about because it's one of those things I've given, I've not really written papers on, but like I've given speeches on and stuff to uh, the public. My doctor was really big into concussion research, and when he kind of came upon my story and I first came to him about the depression stuff, he took me in on a study with a bunch of other people in Toronto. So I'd go to Toronto for like a week, they do a bunch of tests on my brain, brain tests, brain scans, shit like that, and just to come up with the effects of concussion. So there's like a medical journal I'm a part of, or my name is in my, my brain is a part of. <laughs> so there's that. Um, and then he's had me talk to some groups and stuff like that with some other people. Which is all in good fun. Like I enjoy doing it. I enjoy sharing my, sharing my story about that. Just so people learn that concussions aren't to be fucked around with. You have a concussion, it's a brain injury. You only get one, and there's no way to repair your brain injury. Um, there's no, oh, hey, take this medication. It'll fix you forever. No, it's medication I'm going to be on for the rest of my life just to make me be able to live day in and day out. And it sucks ass. That's the best way to put it. It sucks. Because the medications have their own side effects. Um, so I have to deal with those, <laughs> but this is running on pretty long. Um, you know, I probably didn't want it to run on this long cause you guys are probably getting bored or you might just, uh, not be enjoying yourself or you have a short attention span. I get it. But honestly, the moral of the story is don't fuck with concussions. I mean, looking back, I don't regret playing hockey, but I do regret not taking the concussion so seriously. 
Um, I love hockey. I loved playing it. I don't regret the concussions. So I don't regret playing hockey and getting the concussions. I just regret not taking them so seriously and rushing back into hockey. Because as I get old, this will affect me more with most likely Alzheimer's and other memory uh, issues and brain issues as I get older. So all in all, thank you guys for uh, putting up through this if you are. Smash that like button if you guys have. Hopefully this this helps you guys a bit. Hopefully this can maybe opens up some of your guys' eyes when it comes to concussions because I know a lot of you guys do play hockey. And it's just one of those things I want to share with you guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, leave a comment. I'd love to talk to you guys about this more if you guys would like. If you have any more questions, just leave them down below. I'm very open about this. So uh, yeah, have an awesome day, guys. Peace out.